Today we're going to be installing a hose candies, hose bones radiator hose kit on this 69 Camaro. The first thing we're going to have to do is drain the radiator. The next step is to take off the old hose and get rid of these ugly worm gear clamps. We've already opened the packaging for the hose candy hose bones radiator hose kit and this is what comes with it. The hose itself with its stainless steel core, four boa clamps, and two three inch super shrinks. The first thing you'll want to do is remove the skins and the silicone ends. The next thing we're going to do is take the skeletal frame of your hose bones and shape it to the shape of your old radiator hose. Now that you've shaped the skeletal frame of your hose bones, what you're going to want to do is put your old hose right on top of it and cut an inch and a half in from each side to account for the silicone couplers. it's time to start cutting. Now that you're done cutting the skeletal frame, you want to take a file and get the burrs off the inside of the skeletal frame. We're going to start preparing the silicone coupler, which comes with a reducer. The reducer needs to be bonded to the silicone coupler and we use Hose Candy's liquid clamp which is a silicone bonding glue. The first thing you're going to want to do is start the reducer inside the silicone coupler just a little ways and then grab the bonding glue and just start a small bead and then after you get a bead on there shove it together, and there it is. What we've done here is a dry fit for the radiator hose, and we've done it without the skins, so we can see what the couplers look like. And as you can see, this is a nice smooth transition right here, but there's such a radical bend, we're gonna have to cut the coupler back about a half an inch, and in doing that, you're gonna wanna take the bowl clamp and cut about a quarter inch off of this, and the other bowl clamp that goes on this end. Now that we've cut the coupler down, I realized that we didn't have to cut down both of the bowl clamps. I just cut down one of the bowl clamps in half, the other one will be able to leave it full. The other thing you want to do is make sure that you have at least three or four of these ridges underneath the coupler. That way the bowl clamp will get a nice tight seal when it clamps around it. We're going to go ahead and take this off, put the skins, bowl clamps and shrink on it and get it ready for installation. The first thing you want to do is place the couplers onto the end of the hose and then we're going to measure the skins for the right length. This will get us close, it's not going to be a perfect cut yet, but this will get us close so it's easier to manage. You want to leave about four inches on each side and right there is where we're going to cut. After that you're going to want to Take the couplers off and slide the hose skeleton into the skins. And then once you get the ideal length, you want to mark it and cut it about a half an inch short on the other side. To do that, the easiest way is just take the coupler off of this end, stretch it out, 
and mark where you, or cut where you marked. Place the coupler back on. And it's skinned. We've moved outside because we're gonna start spraying the skins with our high temperature clear composite coating. This will keep the weave of the skins from going out of place. You just gotta remember that once you spray this, it's not gonna move again. So you gotta make sure that the skin is tight on the hose. Now that we've waited 45 minutes for the spray to dry, we're gonna prepare the hose bones to go on the car. What you wanna do is work from one end to the other, just slip a coupler off. You wanna put one bowl clamp on. Number two, each end gets two bowl clamps. The next is the heat shrink. Then go ahead and put the coupler back on the end. Okay, now we're ready to install the hose bones into the vehicle. What you're gonna wanna do to finish it off is you're gonna wanna slide the bullet clamps over the skins and then slide the skins carefully back. And then right there, position the bullet clamps where you want them. Grab your heat gun and start shrinking them down. When heat shrinking the bullet clamps, they start off as a dull color. You know you're done shrinking them when they turn shiny. Now we're gonna finish off the other side by repeating the process. We're gonna put the super shrink on the front of the radiator hose. And it's gonna be a little different than what we normally do because we have a coupler and a reducer to hide. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna overlap this heat, the heat shrink so when it shrinks around, it'll come around and hide the ends of the hoses. Now that we've finished replacing this hose with our Hose Candy Hose Bones Radiator Hose, you can see the difference. There you have it, Hose Candy Hose Bones Radiator Hose installed. If you have any questions or comments, please contact us at hosecandy.com or call us at 866-760-5850.